My name is Israfel Caratala, and I am MDC. I am Margaret Brisbane, and I am MDC. I am Marile Lopez, and I am MDC. I am Ailette Rodriguez Diaz, and I am MDC. I am Olga Granda, and I am MDC. This is Esther Cauliflower, and she is MDC. I am Marcel Felipe, and I am MDC. I am Captain Delrish Moss, and I am MDC. I am Maria Moss Blett, and I am MDC. I am Commissioner Christine King, and I am MDC. and I am MDC. What a beautiful night in the beautiful Freedom Tower. This tower stands as a beacon of hope and opportunity in our community, and so does Miami-Dade College. And it is evident today as we induct the 20th class of our Hall of Fame. Our, yes, let's give them a round of applause. So we're going to get the program started. I want to thank you for being here tonight and celebrating with our honorees and with all of us. We consider you all MDC and our MDC family. To everyone who's invested in our students that are here today, you're our why. And we have students throughout all of our tables that are celebrating here tonight. And one day, we'll stand here inducted into our Hall of Fame. But I am so proud right now to introduce someone I met as a student at Miami-Dade College. I was a dean of students, and he was a student. He was doing well, sometimes, but he was on to really find his way. I asked him one day to be the speaker at our commencement ceremony, and he delivered the most powerful induction, invocation that I had heard in my career then. I believed in him then, and I believe even more in him today. And I would like to proudly share with you and bring on to the stage someone who one day will induct into the Hall of Fame. But for right now, he's our Hall of Famer in the foundation, and that is the executive director of the Miami-Dade College Foundation, Nelson Incapié. Thank you, Madam President. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is my pleasure and privilege to welcome you here tonight to recognize this year's Alumni Hall of Fame inductees who have achieved excellence in their profession and who exemplify the values, traditions, and successes of Miami-Dade College. I'm Nelson Incapié, a grateful NDC alumnus and I have the privilege to lead the Miami-Dade College Foundation. At the foundation, we raise essential dollars to fund student access and success. We work hard to ensure that the opportunity of education is available to all who seek it, and that those who study at MDC are successful in their academic and life pursuits. Together, we get to transform lives through the opportunity of education. Thank you very much for coming and for your generous support to our students. Now I would like to introduce our Master of Ceremonies. He is an Emmy Award winning journalist and respected South Florida news anchor for CBS4 News. His career has spanned four decades and includes coverage of major news events in the United States, Europe, in Latin America. He's the recipient of two Emmy Awards, four Edward R. Murrow Awards for Excellence in Journalism. He has been named Best News Anchor by Miami New Times and received the Silver Circle Award from the National Academy of Television, Arts, and Sciences for 25 years of outstanding, of outstanding South Florida broadcasting. Ladies and gentlemen, as if all of that wasn't enough, 
Our MC for tonight is a proud alumnus and an Alumni Hall of Fame inductee. Please help me welcome Mr. Elliot Rodriguez. Wow, Nelson, thank you. Thank you so much. What a beautiful crowd, what a beautiful evening, and what a spectacular venue, right? This building is a treasure, and it's just an honor. So I've been told to eat your salads while I'm speaking. It's perfectly fine. I want to thank Miami-Dade College. I am MDC. In fact, when I went, it was Miami-Dade Community College. And I am a big fan of Miami-Dade College because it put me on a career path that led to where I am today. I've been a journalist for 44 years. I was doing the math today, 44 years. And I've had the privilege <laughs> to do the work I love and am passionate about. And it all started for me at Miami-Dade College. I was the first person in my family to go to college. So when I graduated from high school, I went to Miami-Dade College because that's where my classmates were going. It was easy, it was accessible, it was affordable. And it was the best decision I could have made. At Miami-Dade College, I got involved in the student newspaper, The Catalyst, at the South Campus. Back then, we called it The South Campus. They actually paid me a little bit of money. They actually paid part of my tuition, which was small. But most importantly, it was at Miami-Dade College where I met my mentor, the advisor to the newspaper, a man by the name of Mario Garcia, um, who was a Cuban-American. And I didn't realize it then, but I realized it years later that I thought in my head, hey, if this guy could be a journalist, I could be one too. And so that had a lot to do with my career and me going on and to pursue what I wanted to do. He believed in me and Miami-Dade College believed in me, so I'm so thankful. I'm so happy to be here for this moment. I want to take a moment to welcome the Miami-Dade College trustees who are in attendance the members of the Miami-Dade College Foundation Board of Directors, President Pumariega, whom you will hear from later on in the evening, colleagues, honorees, and our ladies and gentlemen this evening. Also, I would like to recognize some very special guests. I hope that they are here tonight because they are on the script. Congresswoman Ileana ross Layton. I did see Dexter. I didn't see Ileana. Where is she? Miami-Dade County's Chief Financial Officer, Ed Marquez, is here as well. Ed, where are you? And before I continue, please, again, have your salad. Please turn off your cell phone. Uh, normally, I'd be doing a newscast right now, so I'm, happy, I'm just so happy to be here. Tonight, we recognize 10 impressive alumni who represent the very best of Miami-Dade College and of South Florida. They have excelled in their careers and have made a mark in this community and around the world. Their excellence inspires the next generation of students who will go out and do the same. And I can tell you, we did a rehearsal, so I saw some of these uh, inductees, and I, also the students who are here today are very, very impressive. The student you're about to hear from first was inspired to follow our alumni footsteps Please help me welcome to the stage Miami-Dade College student and presidential scholar, Ana Toboada. Ana? Good evening, President Pumariega, distinguished guests, and community members. I am Ana Taboada a biology major and proud scholarship recipient at Miami-Dade College. My story, thank you. My story is like many others at Miami-Dade College who are first generation college students. It begins with my parents and a long road of hardship and dedication that led me to MDC. My parents immigrated to this country at a young age my father is from Havana, Cuba, and my mother is from Managua, Nicaragua. Both left behind their friends and families, 
sacrificed their educational careers to provide me with a better life. I have learned that there is no greater sacrifice than leaving your home country, coming to a new one, and having to work various jobs to survive and support your family. Like many of you joining us today, my parents are prime examples of hard workers and dreamers. My parents taught me to use their hardships as examples and their efforts as stepping stones to prioritize my education. Naturally, I felt a huge responsibility and pressure to succeed to make my parents proud so that their sacrifices were not in vain. I was concerned about how I would afford college and how I would support my family financially. And I work hard, balancing part-time and full-time positions that later caused a challenging chain reaction in my life. Because of the additional working hours, I would have less time to focus on my studies, which led me to believe, is college really for me? How can I afford to go? And what about my dreams to succeed? My dedication led me to the various scholarships and programs that MDC provides to students like me. I remember how excited I was and how I shared the news with my parents that I had an open door, an opportunity to continue to dream and become successful. I instantly applied. I nervously awaited a response. And a few weeks later, I received the email. I was accepted. Thank you. I was accepted to the Presidential Scholars Program. I felt as if a huge weight was lifted off my shoulders. I am not only grateful, but I am also proud to represent MDC as a Hispanic woman, knowing that I attend a college that effectively sets action plans to provide students with support to reach their dreams. The hardest thing in life to quantify is time. Time to do everything we can to do what we dream of. Through MDC support, I can cut back on work hours, focus my attention on school, give back to my parents, and have time to engage in unique immersion experiences at MDC. As a student pursuing a career in the medical field, I am excited about what the future holds in store for me. Seven years from now, I see myself running my clinic, specializing in obstetrics and gynecology. All because MDC was the strongest pillar in my success. I want to provide affordable health care to marginalized communities in the United States and establish free clinics where reasonable prices for medical assistance can be provided regardless of a patient's immigration status. I can continue to achieve these goals with the help of Miami-Dade College programs and scholarships. Miami-Dade College is more than just a campus. It is a home. Home is a safe place to dream and explore. It is a support system that opens doors to opportunity. Miami-Dade College is a home for many students like me who struggle to keep their dreams alive due to the challenges. It is a college that prepares you for your career pathway and develops your heart to give back to the community. I thank you, our audience tonight, for being the MDC leaders our nation needs. Because of you, several students can continue to achieve their goals. Because of you, students like me can continue to live their dreams. Thank you. Thank you, Anna, and continued success. Next, please welcome to the stage our chair of the Miami-Dade County Foundation Board of Directors, Mr. Al Salas, who is also a proud MDC Alumni Hall of Fame inductee. Al. How's everyone doing today? Great. 
Anna, where's Anna? Anna, thank you. That's a, that's a great story, it's, it's amazing. So, yeah, I'm Al Salas, and I'm a proud alumnus. I am an inductee to the Hall of Fame, very proud of that. But I'm also the chair of a great foundation. This foundation does an amazing job. But before I get into it, I would like to ask all the board members of the foundation to please stand and help me celebrate their hard work and their leadership, as well as the Board of Trustees, please. These two boards do an amazing job. <clears throat> and it's not easy being the, uh, the chair of the foundation. This, this is a tough team to, to, uh, to lead. But anyway, let me, let me kind of, uh, in, in my, in, you know, let me think through it for a minute, but this is what, how I see Miami Day. You're gonna hear a little bit of my story and then you're gonna hear a little bit about Miami Day, if you may. Miami Day is really, at the end of the day, the great equalizer. It is, the, it is the, really the place where you can, to one last point, you have a dream, and this is where you can make these dreams come true. This is the place that for me, it made it. It made me who I am today. It's amazing, but it is a great, great job that donors do in giving. Remember that, it's, a, it, it's it's about giving, it's about helping, it's about helping others be here. And in my story, what I'll share with you is that <clears throat> my journey began probably well, a long time ago, I don't want to say how many years, <clears throat> but a long time ago where MDC found me uh, through Dr. Padron, our past president. My friends and I were probably, in, in, sometimes I, I was described then as a knucklehead from Miami High. Maybe so, maybe not, but I love Miami High. But we, we, my friends and I were not thinking of going to school, let alone the uh, Miami Day. So <clears throat> I, was, I was mesmerized when I got here because Miami Day opened its doors to me without question. I had no money. We came from a middle class family, but I was not thinking, neither were my friends thinking about doing much. And I came to the school by barely graduating from Miami High. Although I love the school, I barely graduated from Miami High. And I said, well, you know, let me give it a shot. And I did. And my story is, is like yours, but it took a lot from me to say, you know what, I am going to continue my education because I wanted to be a businessman then. So I went from barely graduating from, from the school, from Miami High, to attending Miami Day, graduating from FIU, becoming a CPA, working, on, working for a big eight CPA firm, being recruited by PepsiCo, being recruited by Pizza Hut, went from a director to a senior vice president, and today, with the help of my team, which is here, my team from Pizza Hut, I own one of the largest Latino franchises of Pizza Hut in the nation. <laughs> so, you know, I'm, I'm humble there. I don't, I don't like to talk about myself a whole lot, but the job that I do in the foundation is probably the biggest job that I do because it is about the students. It is, it, is doing the, it is doing the right thing every day. Now, let me share with you, maybe you do know or not, but the majority of our students are in need of financial assistance. Like I was, I was in need of a financial assistance. Think about that, okay? So about half of these students fall below the poverty line. Below the poverty line, and we're here to help them. 80% of these students, when they graduate, they, and they go to a, to a local university, what I call local, a Florida university, but 80% of them, 80% of them go to a Florida university. And that's a, great, that's a great accomplishment. And when they do not go to the state university, they go to schools like Harvard, Yale, think about that, okay? Cornell and MIT. And Madam President and I talk about that all the time. It's not just a story of you not having money, it is you basically needing that assistance, but excelling. So my story is about that, but it's your story as well. And I want to make sure that today I leave you with that. If you can, I, can I, you know, one of the things that, can I get a show of hands from all of you? If you have been touched by Miami Day, this great institution, whether you went to the school or know somebody that went to the school. That's most of you. That's amazing. Let me give you a well-deserved round of applause. <clears throat> Knowing that, knowing that, I invite you to join me 
to continue to help this great institution to pledge, pledge a little bit, pledge a lot. But at the end of the day, it's to give, to give not only to this great institution, but to give to the students. It's important that you take your time, take a look at your program, do me a favor, with that hand that you raise, take a look at that program. And in the back of the program, I don't know if we have that here, well, you, you, you will see that, uh, turn that program around. Let me have one, let me have one, because I, I, I get all motivated. So the back of this program, you can, you can actually uh, pledge now or pledge online. But take your time and say, look, first of all, let me say thank you for all the sponsors. Thank you for all of those who purchased a table. I am honored to be here and talk about the honorees, and we'll do that later. But today, for my, my role is to ask you to help us. Help Anna stay in school. Help dreamers come true, and those dreams need to come true. Help them, like I'm gonna help them. I'm gonna begin, where's, where's Adler, Adler? I am going to pledge $1,000. Forget the table that I bought, $1,000. Let me begin by doing that. So please, I leave you with this. Give from your heart, because what you're doing, you're not only investing in these students and the college, but you truly, at the end of the day, you're investing in this community, a great community, made up by folks like yourself and myself. God bless you and thank you. Al, thank you. How are those salads? Good? Got the main course. Eat, eat. Al mentioned the sponsors. I'm going to talk a little bit about the sponsors right now. Miami-Dade College would like to recognize our generous sponsors who have made this night a huge success. Without them, this would not be possible. So let's take a moment to thank, thank our sponsors. Our presenting sponsor, Leon Medical Center. Our featuring sponsors, City National Bank of Florida. TG Constructors. Whoa, yeah. Okay, that's what I like. Good, you guys got it going on. Yeah, all right. And now, a very special appreciation to our premier sponsor, Nicholas Children's Hospital, who will share. Oh, all right. Okay. All right. And they will share with us a special video message. Hello, my name is Jose Perdomo, and I am honored to serve as Senior Vice President of Nicholas Children's Health System. I am also a proud Miami-Dade College alum and Hall of Famer, so I understand just how special this occasion is. MDC is a huge contributor to our community. They help us grow and develop students into future leaders and change makers. Like MDC, Nicholas Children's is a committed member of the South Florida community. We understand the value of philanthropic support, connecting with the community, and developing the future of our people through education and well-being initiatives. Nicholas Children's mission is to provide hope and healing to the children and families who come to us when they need expert pediatric care. And we do just that in more ways than one. We are committed to collaborating with community organizations that are mission aligned and advance the health and well being of children. We are also working hard at leaving footprints across the community through our One Nicholas Children's program, where employees are encouraged to give of their time to organizations who are doing great work across South Florida. Nicholas Children's believes in this program and its impact to our community so much that we offer all employees with community time off that they can use to spend at contributing to these organizations. In addition to supporting families in these ways, we are also working on creating future healthcare leaders by developing scholarship programs aimed at helping future nurses, doctors, and other healthcare professionals. In fact, Nicholas Children's just created a nurse scholar program through Miami-Dade College, where students who get accepted into the Associate of Science in Nursing program 
at Miami-Dade College may be eligible to receive an award toward school tuition of up to $10,000. We're excited to build the next generation of pediatric nurses along with MDC. At Nicholas Children's, we are truly focused on creating a healthy future for every child. Thank you for your continued support and congratulations to tonight's Hall of Fame inductees who embody Miami-Dade College's commitment to create leaders and transform our community. Jose Perdomo from Nicholas Children's Hospital. Where's Nicholas Children's Hospital? All right, right here. One more time, Leo Medical Center, where are you guys? I know you're there. TG Constructors. <laughs> Miami-Dade College. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna take a break because even the MC gets to eat. Uh, and we'll be back with the uh, video presentation and our inductees. Enjoy your, din your dinner. Can I have your attention? How was your meal? All right, let's have a staff for the people who prepared the food. Thank you. Muchas gracias. All right, tonight, we will induct 10 leaders into the Hall of Fame. Some of them have dedicated their passion to, get this, aviation, banking, even entrepreneurship. Gracias. The Hall of Fame has alumni from some of Miami-Dade College's longest running and most highly regarded programs. You'll have a chance to hear each of their amazing stories in just a moment, but first I'd like to introduce a woman who deserves all of our gratitude, all of our attention for her tireless efforts on behalf of this college its faculty and staff, and most importantly, the students. She embodies Miami-Dade College. She is a leader, a change maker, a first woman president, a great mom, an alumna, and an alumni Hall of Famer. Please, warm welcome for our president, Madeline Pumariega. Thank you, Elliot. I'm among great company here as an alumna of Miami-Dade College, but I was just walking the tables and I want to just honor for a moment a woman who's been a trailblazer in this community. Um, oftentimes when you're the first at something, someone calls you a trailblazer. And I've often said 
It is people like the Congresswoman Ileana Ross Layton that is really the trailblazer. The college inducted Ileana in the first class. It was 2003. And I want you to think about two women who certainly have been trailblazers in our community and the thousands and millions of lives that they have impacted. And that is Congresswoman Ileana Ross Layton, the first Hispanic Congresswoman, and Congresswoman late Carrie P. Meek. Could you imagine serving in Congress with the two of them? <laughs> but I want to say thank you. Thank you again for being here this evening. It is such a special night. To the honorees, I know what it feels to be on this stage. In 2018, I was indu inducted into Miami-Dade College's Hall of Fame. With my mom and dad and cousins watching and lots of friends, I have to tell you, it was that moment, that sense of belonging, that it was here that we got our opportunity that there was a faculty member who believed in us, just like Al said, when we weren't sure that we were ready to believe in ourselves. It was that scholarship. For me, it was a basketball scholarship. For the presidential scholars that Anna talked about, it's that presidential scholarship. To Joy Stanley, who's in the audience, the Rising Black Scholarship. To our SGA presidents that are here with us tonight, the kind of scholarships and help that we give to them. I have watched firsthand, not as the president, but as a student, as a student dean, and as a campus president, firsthand the impact that Miami-Dade College has on our community. And so when we pack the house of the Freedom Tower to celebrate 10 amazing alumni, we also celebrate Miami-Dade College, and we celebrate each and every one of you. To our board of trustees, thank you for your support to the Miami-Dade College Foundation. Boy, that's not, that is such a dedicated group. I'd go anywhere with them. <laughs> to Nelson and the foundation team, this would not have happened without their hard work, leadership, and vision. I want to say a special thank you to our provost, Malou C. Harrison, Dr. Harrison back there. She, alongside the campus presidents and the vice provost and deans, are the glue that keeps all of this together. So thank you so very much. I want to turn it back to Elliot because it's time to celebrate our honorees. Thank you. OK, are you guys ready for the big highlight here? <laughs> highlight of the evening. This is a very, very impressive group. I mentioned earlier that we, hit, we did a, 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 a dry run, a rehearsal. I never do a rehearsal <laughs> for a newscast, but we did a rehearsal today, and it went great. So I got to see the videos, and it really is an impressive group. So we are going to start now with our first video. So I walked into MDC trying to start my path down an IT career. And the moment I walked into the guidance counselor's office, it turns out that the gentleman was a retired Pan Am flight engineer. In conversation, I you know, pointed out the planes that he had on display and I was like, I love those, I love aviation. And he handed me a pamphlet for the aviation program in Miami-Dade College. My name is Israfel Caratala. I'm a first officer and sim instructor at Spirit Airlines. I can honestly say that if it wasn't for Miami-Dade College, I would not have the career that I have today. Miami-Dade was able to give me a very structured, direct path to achieve my goal of becoming an airline pilot. It also gives you a lot of people that are very vested in your success. So every time I step into the cockpit, it's an overwhelming joy that I can't believe that this is my career, this is what I'm doing every day. It's still wondrous. As I've had many mentors, I wish to continue that tradition in the aviation community. Ladies and gentlemen, Israfel Carratala.
MDC represents all of the core beliefs of a higher educational institution. And I embody that by virtue of what I learned and how I carry out what they taught me. In summary, I am the CEO of the Blatt Vasquez household. I am mother to two two-legged children. I am mother to two four-leggeds. I am partner to B. Vasquez. I am a breast cancer survivor. I spend a lot of time in community and philanthropic service. And when I have time, I help clients in helping them with their goals and objectives at Wells Fargo Private Bank. And then I sleep. My proudest accomplishment is the legacy I've left behind in those that I've mentored, assisted, trained, and over the years helped shape so that they can continue in our business. Don't you love those little fur babies? Adorable. Ladies and gentlemen, Maria Mas Blett. Giving is important in our community because that's how we grow. And Miami-Dade College is on the forefront of that. My biggest accomplishment is the creation of the Marilene Jorge Luis Lopez Family Foundation. Miami-Dade College brings opportunity to our community. We are meant to expand. We are meant to share. For us, it's not a cause, but a mission. And when we see an idea that we've supported, encouraged, come to fruition, that's, that's the best part. Miami-Dade College gave me my start. Whether it's serving as CFO of a law firm or the president of your family foundation or a film producer or a president of a university, every student that walks those halls has the potential of being what they want to be. Ladies and gentlemen, Marile Lopez. years old I knew I wanted to be a teacher I knew I wanted to be a principal of a school and help the future generation of learners I would love to be remembered as a person who was always smiling someone who truly cared about people and someone who helped children in the community strive to be whoever they wanted to be and the best at it.
I love working with a creative team of individuals who helps to implement and design magnet school choice programs across the district. There were many professors in Miami Dade that I wanted to be just like. They inspired me and now I have the opportunity to thank them for who I am. Please welcome Ailet Rodriguez Diaz. Antiques world is a world in which you're always learning something new. So for me, part of the value of a great education has to do with discipline and learning how to learn, learning to be a lifelong learner, and learning that there's always more to learn. <laughs> I attended the honors program at Miami-Dade College, which included a curriculum of leadership training. And for me, that class was transformational because it really showed me the hard work that we had the opportunity to put in and that we can take advantage of to become leaders in our community. It was really the professors at the Honors Program that inspired me to pursue those dreams and therefore the achievements of my career. Please welcome Olga Granda. story. We have another 24 hours here. Uh, that led us into knowledge about hospices. We said, this is interesting. We don't have anything like this in Miami. We said, we need to explore this. You and I put, really and truly, put a sign on a tree and uh, invited anyone who was interested in death and dying issues to meet us under the tree. Legend has it, it was a banyan, it was a banyan. And I said, you know, Enough of this meeting, we need to do something. It's not just about dealing with the physical needs of patients. It, it's to, to bring some life to what they have. Ladies and gentlemen, Esther Cauliflower was not able to join us tonight, but she is represented by her esteemed family. Accepting the award in her honor is her daughter, Joelle Cauliflower Mills.
given that I was never gonna get into the Baseball Hall of Fame, I'm quite happy to get into a Hall of Fame, and particularly this Hall of Fame. I am a product of this community. My family came here when I was 10 years old. We started like almost everyone that gets here. We started with nothing. In many ways, Miami Dade College was my second chance. MDC is a great equalizer of society. It doesn't matter what your background is, where you came from, or how you started. If you apply yourself, you will succeed, and you will have your place and your part of the American dream. MDC provides that. The skills that I learned in Miami Dade College prepared me for my career as a lawyer. My skills as a lawyer have really helped me to become an ad hoc ambassador for Cuba's freedom. We're standing right now at the American Museum of the Cuban Diaspora. A lot of the things that we've accomplished to, to get here and a lot of the world leaders that we've been bringing together through this museum have come through the skills that I learned as a lawyer, which started in the skills that I learned at Miami Dade College. Professors like Dr. Primus, my international relations professor, what I learned with him, I'm applying today. Through an education at NBC, you can get started in, in your way to going anywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, Marcel Felipe. Police departments are a part of the community, and building relationships helps you build that sense of community. The thing I enjoy most is the fact that I get to walk around and actually meet people, interact, and just build relationships, and I think building relationships is so critical to what we do. I am Captain Delrish Moss, and I am MDC. I think Miami-Dade College makes a difference in this community because it offers opportunities to so many people who wouldn't otherwise have them. For me, it launched my career and it gave me the opportunity to actually learn, grow, and make a difference. I will to the best of my skill, I will to the best of my skill, and knowledge, and knowledge, discharge all the duties thereof, discharge all the duties thereof, faithfully according to all, faithfully according to all, so help me God, so help me God. The phrase, I am NBC, seems quaint, but it actually means that I've accomplished something. It started my life, and it's actually made a huge difference, not only in my life, but I've been able to impact others. That is how I want to be remembered. It is a great honor for me to welcome my friend, Delrish Moss. My time at Miami-Dade College was instrumental in shaping who I am today. I was a non-traditional student and I didn't complete my degree within two years. And in so doing, I learned discipline, I learned patience, and I also learned the value of being determined. And I got all of that from being a student at Miami-Dade.
What I love most about being a public servant is making people's lives better. If someone finds themselves in the situation that I found myself in, my Second Chance Scholarship now will afford them the opportunity to get back on track. I would pray that my legacy would be that of kindness and fairness and inclusivity. I am Commissioner Christine King and I am MDC. Please welcome Miami Commission Chairwoman Christine King. in this country as a 17-year-old from Jamaica. Going to Miami-Dade Kendall campus, I found my family with other Caribbean students who were in the same situation I was. Miami-Dade College became a safe haven for me. This job gives me the opportunity to really create the foundation for technology for Miami-Dade County, not only to meet the needs of our department, but the needs of the citizens as well. And it's less about the technical component, but the ability to make a difference. Mentoring is a part of my DNA. We are able to mentor young ladies who are heading off to university to get an IT or engineering degree. So the four years that they're in university, they have someone that they can lean on, someone who is a sounding board, who really can help them with career decisions along the way. This is a platform that really allows me to do so much, both within the county and in the community. Please welcome Margaret Brisbane. Twenty-two inductees. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the class of 2022 Hall of Fame inductees for Miami-Dade College. To the inductees, I hope you can feel the love and the pride in this room. And to all of you, I hope that you can feel the gratitude that we have for all of you. Good night, buenas noches. Thank you so very much for joining us this evening.